Hello everybody, this is Red Road, and I'm just showing you what I have coming Wednesday for my uh, Shed Wars 24. I got me a couple of greenhouses. Now I've had these before, and I'm going to explain things during the video. So let's switch back to me. Those will be, like I said, coming Wednesday, but today I have a mail call from Amazon, and that's where I'm getting them from. I've had uh, those kind of greenhouses before. They usually last me two to three years. But I noticed in Tennessee, there was a lot of wind and stuff. Well, just the normal, um, what do you call it? Uh, trying to think of what you call it. The ground pegs to hold it in that comes with them. Does not hold, nor does the um, Velcro inside where you put the Velcro strips around the poles, doesn't hold. The wind just picks them up and carries them off. I don't know how many times in Tennessee I had to go through the woods and bring the plastic back. So, got smart this year. And what I did was, on Timu, they have the little um, catches that you can slide onto the plastic, and it has a hook on it. So what I'm going to do is put those on the sides of the greenhouses and I bought sturdier ground pegs to hold the greenhouse in place so it doesn't blow all over. So hopefully this time these two greenhouses I got coming Wednesday will hold, you know, for a couple, maybe a couple more years than normal. So, and I also got some more... I'll show you what all we got. We got some more grow bags, of course, because I'm doing a lot of container gardening. I might put the carrots in the ground, though. But these are five-gallon grow bags that I got from Amazon. And the grow bags that I have gotten previously from um, Amazon are out there now with a uh, Let's see, they got sun chokes in them, garlic in them, and a banana tree. And they've held up good. I've had them for a few years, too. So I got me some more, because what I want to do with these this year is since we don't have a lot of growing space or trellises, I have a tree that I'm going to put a little face on. be goofy, but it's a bird feeder, too. Anyways, there's a great big, I mean, a huge maple tree out there. And then there is some, um, what do you call that fencing? I'm trying to think. The crisscrossy fence. Anyways, the fence out there. And I'm going to do green beans in these grow bags, but put them around the tree and around the fencing so that the green beans can grow up along it. I'm not going to do the peas this year because of the fact it takes so many of them to actually freeze them or can them. So I'm going to skip that this year, but I'm going to do the green beans because I think I can plant enough green beans to actually freeze them. And this is what the grow bag looks like. And you get, let's see, one, two, three, five five of them in a package so not a bad deal so that's what i'm doing with these guys they are going to be my green beans so let's put them aside and then i just wanted to show you the stakes i got because those stakes that come with those greenhouses i mean they're not worth a darn and i just not doing that no more I want something sturdy, and these are like rebar. And so if any of you do get those greenhouses like that, you can get them different places. I just usually get mine from Amazon. That way, if the plastic ruins in a couple of years, I just order another plastic top. And so and the one I had there in Tennessee, I gave to the neighbor lady so she could grow her own vegetables on her land. So here it is. Oh, get them out of there. They're heavy. But these are, I'll just take one out. Because these suckers are two. <laughs> these are heavy, but they're rebar. And I'll just pound them in with a rubber mallet. 
have it go over the bottom bar of the greenhouse. And before I push it all the way down, I have those S hooks that I'll be getting from Timu that holds on to the plastic and then pound them the rest of the way down. So greenhouses will be started probably Wednesday, but we got storms. So you probably won't see a video on them put up until Thursday or Friday. <coughs> Excuse me, still a little sick. But um, yeah, I'll put them up, but I won't have the tie downs complete until I get those things from Timu and they take a couple of weeks. So there's that for that one box. Go sit down. And then there's another box. So I'm not sure what's in this one. Too small to be a greenhouse. Because I know they have to send, send the pipes with it. Or the poles or whatever you want to call them. Let's see here. I got two boxes today. I knew it was to get grow bags. I think I got more grow bags. Let me see. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I don't think this one's mine. This might be my kids's. So, I'm going to close that back up. I think I opened my kids' mail. That <laughs> could be. Let's see. Um... Whoa. Uh-oh. Somebody else's mail. Okay. Well, that's it for the um, mail call. And you all have a good day. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And run my videos, please. And if you feel like helping out the garden this year, check my main page. It has my wish list for Amazon. Bye for now.